Hey everyone, this is me, Savia here, and I'm back with the remaining month of November read, start from the 21st through the 30th of November 2024. This reading is going to be for the sign of um, Virgo. So Virgo, so let's see what's coming through for you for this time frame. Just be mindful. It's a general reading. It may not not resonate with everyone out there. Pick whatever resonate and leave the rest for personal reads. You can always reach out to me on my email ID in the description box. You can also check out other services that I offer as well in the description box. So let's see what's coming through for you for the remaining month's time. Where goes? Let's begin. Tutai slowly but surely getting ahead. Wow. I really see that you're getting closer to what you want, getting closer to what you desire, getting closer to your goals, getting closer to your the one. So it's, it's a very slow energy, but at the same time, things are moving forward at least. So we do have the leg stepping into a new experience. I really feel like, you know, um, for some of you, um, your life is going to change in a big way. It's coming in very slow, but the change is definitely happening here. So you are going to get into a new experience, um, whether it's in love, work or home life. For some of you, if it is applicable to your work life, maybe you are going to stepping into a different role in regards to your career as well. So yeah, let's see what else is coming in. We do have a spear, heartache over what you no longer have. Hmm. For some of you, um, maybe there is something that, um, you know, um, you have lost. It can be a person, it can be a relationship, it can be a person who died or passed away. Maybe you're still having that pain and suffering around it. But at the same time, I really feel like, you know, you're going to step into the new phase of your life. So whatever it is that's currently bothering you, it's not going to be like, you know, it's going to wash away. So we do have the bowl, uh, plenty of material things. I really feel like, you know, for some of you, there are good things coming in, which is going to definitely replace your current thoughts for good. We do have the desk. Pay attention to your work. Um, I feel like you know, the divine really wants you to make sure that you're taking a good amount of your uh, time spent at your work front because there is something that needs your attention, that needs your time. So make sure that you um, that you work and uh, make sure that you are like having a healthy balance, but at the same time, not ignoring or neglecting your work life at all. So um, next we have the dark man, dealings or relationship with a man with dark complexion or hair. For some of you, maybe um, you are going to deal with someone like that. But um, let's see more. We do have the July. Maybe this person is your July born or someone. We do have the marriage coming next. For some of you, maybe this person is coming in your life. This person can be a darker person. Uh, maybe they have a dark complexion. Or maybe they have a dark uh, hair. But whoever this person is, this person seems like um, somebody you're going to you're gonna be dealing with. Maybe for some of you, it's a same-sex situation. But maybe there is a chance of you getting married to a dark man or a dark uh, you know a person who's like um tall dark and handsome uh somebody who's like uh, who who has dark hair like brown or black or any other dark hair color so that could also be the thing for some of you let's see what else is coming through for you where those what else is happening here in your life during this remaining month time you do have let go of the past clear energy to allow more love in your life I feel like, you know, for some of you, again, if you have been through a heartache or something, it's time for you to let it go because there is beautiful energies coming in. The divine really wants you to move past the past and clear the energy for yourself to allow a new person to walk into your life. Wow. I'm going to take those cards and let's put the deck back because I was taking just two cards from this deck, but then these cards was to come out. We do have the life partner and the marriage card here. So I really see you meeting your life partner during this time. We do have the real feelings. You share romantic feelings worth exploring. We do have the disguise. Some elements of this relationship is um, are hidden. Then we do have the life partner. I really feel like, you know, for a majority of you, um, I really see somebody coming in your life who you're going to get probably into a promise of marriage with. Um, somebody who is going to feel like uh, really... Um, this person is going to feel like um, somebody that you don't know as such, but you're going to feel like going for. Um, you will have real feelings for this person. But at the same time, there is something which is going to be hidden around this connection. But seems like you're going to get married to this person. Let's see what could be hidden in this situation. Let me take one card just to clarify that. 
what could be hidden what could be hidden in the situation about this person what could be hidden what could be hidden whatever it is going to be hidden i really feel like it's going to come out it's um i really feel like you know, it's not going to be something which is um you know let me let me put that put it this way if this person whoever is coming in your life who uh, who you are going to finding your life partner with maybe this person has more that they're revealing to you right now in terms of their financial growth in terms of their like you know what they got materialistically i feel like you know maybe they are not going to tell you all but when it is going to get revealed you are still going to be happy like you know i really feel like you know, whatever that is hidden it's it's not something which is going to influence you or your life in a negative way it's still going to bring you happiness and you know some positivity let me take one more card here yes there you go four of funds so i really feel like you know, whatever that is hidden around this you know relationship scenario it's it's something going to be like really good for sure so let's see what else is coming through for you in this remaining month's time here it goes You do have 32 RT, make a joyful mess. For some of you, this person can be an artist. Number 32 could be significant. You do have the number nine. Nine is a secret stolen by a thief. Ooh, there you go. Again, a secret. So there is something. Um, there is something about this person. This person is going to be like filthy rich. You could feel like maybe they are a thief or something. Like, you know, they have a lot of money and a lot of like, you know, luxuries and stuff. Um, this person is also going to steal your heart and that's what is going to make you feel like you know they are a thief or something they're going to steal your heart and your heart is going to be stolen by this person who's who feels like a thief or something let me put the uh, pick the cards off hold on so let's see what the card has to say you do have the temperance you do have the ace of pentacles i really see this person to be um showing up like like you you didn't see this person coming at all and then this person comes in and they are like you know look at that ace of pentacles and ace of cups for some of you this person might come into your life through your work but whatever the case is i really see you getting married i really see you signing a contract marriage contract with this person and there will be something hidden about this person initially but whatever it is going to be it's going to be amazing for you to know about it as well so there is a definite 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 blessing coming in for you after being waiting uh for so long around you know about your love life situation to pan out exactly the way you want this person is showing up and it's going to be like the lovely thing happening for you for some of you around this time frame maybe you're going to get to know this person and by the coming july you are going to get married to each other so there is like a big big chance that this person who is showing up in your life now this person can be somebody who's like tall dark handsome but at the same time um they're going to steal your heart they're going to they're going to make you go for it um is what i see here but yes i really feel like you know, an opportunity to grow uh financially and emotionally uh, to a better situation is what i see coming through so let's see uh what colors could be lucky or significant for you what colors could be lucky or significant for you during this time you do have a coral a laugh flow and synchronicity into your life so there are things unfolding to you in your life naturally and i really feel like in a coral stone if you want you can wear it that is also going to kind of unfold things naturally to you number 18 could be significant as well but yeah um that's what i see coming through for you Virgos. Big, big shifts coming in. Uh, somebody that you're going to get married to is going to enter in your life now. And be open to receive this person coming in. And it seems like, you know, they, they took, um, you know, maybe you are right now. Um, you want this to happen. But at the same time, you didn't see it coming now. So for sure, this is beautiful. Um, so yeah, that's what I see coming through for you um, for the remaining month of November. If it was of help, don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Till I do the next read, take care. Bye.